There are so many content creators in Retail Tycoon 2 claiming certain ways of earning money to be the best. But let me tell you this, all of them are wrong. If you watch this entire video, I will guarantee you that you will become a millionaire on your first day of Retail Tycoon 2, as well as knowing the number one best way of earning money in the game. I've been designing a layout using only starter money that utilizes this best way of earning money in the game. And this layout makes you a millionaire in a matter of hours. Let me just tell you this. In one day, I went from a new store to have a total earning of over 10 million. Now, before this video begins, once we hit 10,000 subs, I'll be doing a 10,000 Robux giveaway to you guys. So only by subscribing, you will get yourself a chance of winning this giant Robux prize once we reach the goal. So now I can't see any reasons not to subscribe. But let the video begin. The video will be divided into three different sections. Number one, earning results from different items and categories. Number two, preparing and building the layout. And number three, running the layout and future upgrades. All right, so I've been testing, calculating and debunking the most popular and so-called best ways of earning money in the game. Furniture, small electronics and small appliances. The layout I've been using to test is a simple 300k layout with 5 star rating and 16 parking slots. You can see the layout right here. In 15 minutes with instant delivery I earned 110k from selling furniture, 120k from selling small electronics and 100k from selling small appliances. Now you might say, well then electronics is the best way to earn money in the game. But no, furniture has higher value per item than small electronics and small appliances, therefore making 110k earnings worth around 60k in net earnings, while 120k and 100k earnings from small electronics and small appliances only is around 45k and 35k earnings. So even though it seems like small electronics is the best way of earning money, in this situation some simple calculations show the opposite. For here you can see that large furniture has a value on instant delivery of 1.78, small furniture on 1.78 and exercise on 1.75. Then move down and you can see small electronics down at 1.4 and small appliances also at 1.4. This means that you earn 1.4 the amounts of the price of the item when you sell it. Now you might say, since large power tools and toys has a lot of value, they might sell for a lot of money. But that is mistaken, because the items are so cheap, they won't be selling for any money anyways. You need to sell expensive items in order to earn money. And for example, large appliances, which is the most expensive item in the game, other than vehicles of course, have so bad value on for example instant delivery that it becomes absolutely useless. So furniture is the champion of value, making each furniture sold as much as twice as valuable as each small electronic and small appliance sold when using instant delivery. Now this ratio diminishes once you get a good bunch of monetaries, but for the early to mid game furniture is by far the best to sell. The earnings for the late game is for another future video, but I can spoil to you that vehicles is a great way of earning money once you gain a decent amount of money trees. We're talking about over 100 money trees by the way. Also, it is important to know that earnings is almost solely based on the server, because you won't earn any money with any strategy if you play on a slow server. So therefore I suggest you to only play on this private server for maximum earning potential. If you don't, then I can't 100% promise that you will earn as much as my tests have shown. Alright, it is time to build this layout. The layout will earn you around 160k per hour, which translates to around 60k net earnings per hour. Just to mention, net earnings is the money you actually earn. A lot of content creators only say the total earnings, which then end up being misunderstood since you don't actually earn what they claim. Well, this layout at least earns the money it claims to earn. But alright, so we have to start by deleting absolutely everything on your plot. 
After that, you can buy these five pieces of land and sell the trees on them. You will then go to the build menu and fill the entire plot with dirt. In the end, you sell your pickup truck and then you end up with around 42k. Now it is time to build this layout, so follow my lead. You start by building four parking slots facing each other. Then you build two fountains in the middle. After that, you just build the furniture plots and the register like I do right here. You then build two finance rep desks on each side. Three trash cans. And a manager desk. In the end, you add a ceiling above the store area and you build edge pieces around it all. Make sure to keep an opening right here on these different spots for the workers to walk through. You can also put these two edge pieces in like this, so you will get the maximum possible shelter rate. Now a quick note, edge pieces do count as walls when it comes to shelter rating, so therefore you can use edge pieces and still have 5 star rated shelter. At last you switch out the wooden sign with a folding sign. Now you just need to stock your furniture and you are good to go. Here is a quick photo of the layout from above. Now running this layout is quite simple. Once opened, you need to pay attention to potential robbers, because they steal a lot of value from you when selling such expensive items. As well as that, you need to empty the trash cans every once in a while, as well as just sitting on the register and making sure that everything is going alright. The store is somewhat half-automatic, because it does all the store work for you with buying and stocking, just not the security and cleaning. Now once you start to earn some more money, I suggest investing it into more parking slots for higher earnings and potentially adding some security gates, a guard, a dumpster and a janitor. Now the store is fully automatic. The tip with the dumpster is to put hanging plants beside it so the decoration won't affect anything. When it comes to guards, I suggest just locking the store like this and just building a double security gate right here. By the way, I like to put two security gates on each side of the doors for maximum security. In that case, you don't even need cameras. You could also add one or two semi-truck delivery drivers, but then also make sure to set the manager on 200%. If not, then the trucks will deliver half full, which is just ineffective. From this point on, the store is at its most efficient and you will become a millionaire in no time. You can then expand your store as much as you want, just make sure to only stick to furniture in order to get the highest possible earnings. Now enjoy the game and have fun, you learn the most when you enjoy it. If you want to earn even more money in the late game future, I suggest you to check out my advanced money tree guide. It explains everything you need to know about money trees, which is the bridge to reaching the end game and the billboard. Then you can visit my channel and see lots of different guides and gameplay for you to watch and learn. I am among other working on different layouts for different budgets that you can use at different states of the game, like for example the mid and late game. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. But I hope you found the video quite helpful and want more content like this. If so, just leave a nice comment, a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel. In the end, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day or night further. Become rich people. Peace.